Hello, my name is Jeff Temple, and welcome to this edition of the eCounselor Weekly. The article for this week is entitled, What to Do When It is Adultery. The reason why I'm writing on this topic is because adultery is so very prevalent within our society and that the church is not immune to such a sin that our friends and our family members are going to come to you most likely one day asking you for your help when something like this happens to them. And so the purpose of this article is not to go into great depth of what is it that you need to do, but simply how can you get started. Most of the things that we want to look at regarding adultery are going to be at least two things, and the one thing that's going to be most prevalent is what are you to do? And so you have two parties that you have to address, the offender and the offended, and so they're going to need to be able to do something. You've got to have an action plan for them. And this is probably going to be what most people are going to ask you for. What is it that they can do practically so that they can gain control over their life once again? And again, in the article, I lay out a very generalized way in which you can help both the offender and the offended. But the main part of the article, the real thrust of the article, is pointing the offender and the offended back to the gospel. This is their great hope. This is where they build their lives upon. This is what changes the perspective of both the offender and the offended as they look at such a devastating issue uh, like what they're facing. So I hope you enjoy the article. I hope that is going to be a blessing to you. And thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.